Hello and welcome everybody. If you have done a Windows installation, you know that any basic Windows installation requires you to boot the operating system from the CD or a DVD which you insert on a CD or a DVD drive for, for the installation. But what if you don't have any CD or DVD drive? How will you install Windows? In this video tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to install Windows 7 using a USB drive or a pen drive. So, the first step in installing Windows from a USB pen drive, you need to have a USB DVD tool. You need to have a pen drive with at least 4 GB of space available. And you need to have an ISO image of the installation disk. So, the first thing, you need to download and install a USB DVD tool. So, so this is the link from where you can download the USB DVD tool. I'll place this link in the description of the video. So just scroll down and click on this link to download the tool. Once you have downloaded it, the tool, just double click on the installation installer to start the installation. So I'll double click on the installation to start. Just follow the on-screen instructions. Click on next. Click on install. So once the installation is finished, Click on finish and you'll get a shortcut on the desktop of the U Windows 7 USB DVD tool. Just double click on this. So it will start your Windows DVD tool. Now before starting this, let me tell you that you need to have a 4GB pen drive. Before connecting this pen drive to your system, just back up all the data on the pen drive. And the third is you need to have an ISO image. For those who don't know what's an ISO image, let me tell you that ISO image is nothing but an archive file of your CD or a DVD. So you need an ISO image. You can download the Windows ISO image from the internet also. But if you are having a Windows 7 installation uh, DVD, you can create your own ISO image from the CD or a DVD. Just what you need to do is click on this annotation and it will take you to my video on how to make an ISO image from a CD or a DVD. And just uh, watch this we watch the video. It's hardly two three minutes video, so you'll come to know how to create an ISO image from the disk. Just create that that disk. I'm already having an ISO Windows ISO. So we'll begin with the process. So what you need to do is connect your USB drive to your USB port. Firstly, back up all the data and click on browse and go to the path where you, have, where you have kept the ISO image. So this is my ISO, click open and click on next. Once you click next, just click on this USB device. So once you click on the USB device, it will automatically detect all the connected USB devices. So I'm having only one. If you're having multiple devices, it will show multiple devices here. And you can select any one which you want. And before select begin copying, let me remind you that this will erase your complete data. It will prompt you, but it will erase the complete data. So it is better that you back up your data before doing this process. Click on begin copying. So it will prompt you for erasing the data. Click on erase USB device and it will once again give you a warning. So click on yes. Once the data is formatted, it will start copying files. So we'll wait for a while till the process is completed. So it is now formatting the data on the pen drive. And now it is copying files. Just wait, sit back because it will take near about 10 to 15 minutes depending upon your processor speed. So process is successfully complete and you can see that uh, we have successfully created a bootable USB device. So once it is finished, you can just close the window. And the next important step is you need to change the boot order in the BIOS settings of your computer. So usually you have the fu function 2 key or the F2 or the delete key. You need to restart your system and keep pressing this key to enter into the BIOS settings. So let us see how to change the boot order inside BIOS. 
just restart your system your system and keep pressing the boot key to enter into the BIOS till your uh, PC is en entered into the BIOS settings. So once the system is into BIOS, you'll see a screen like this. So the first step, what you need to do is you need to change the boot order so to go into the boot. You, depending upon your manufacturer, this uh, window will change, but you you can get a brief understanding on how to change the boot order even if you have different kind of options so just enter into the boot and go down to the hard drive order so this is the hard drive order this is my internal hard disk and this one is the uh, USB pen drive so I'll make the USB pen drive option 1 change the boot order to of the USB pen drive so it will come first and in the boot device priority I'll select the hard drive select the priority of hard drive as one so it will boot from the USB pen drive I'll hit enter and I'll save the changes and exit the system so now once the system is restarted make sure that your USB pen drive is connected and this will boot the Windows installation So here you can see your windows is loading, the installation is loading directly from the USB pen drive. So here you can see your windows installation window will appear after your files is loaded. You can select the installation and follow the on screen instructions to install your windows 7. And you can install the windows 7 successfully from your pen drive and one important step what you need to keep in your mind is once your installation is finished you need to again change the boot order to your default settings you need to change the boot order from your pen drive to your hard disk because uh, if you don't change this and if your pen drive is still connected to your system it will go into your boot loop it will again boot the windows for installation and once the installation is complete it again boot for it will again boot for the installation itself so this keep this in mind that once your installation is complete please change the boot priority once again to the uh, hard disk and in this way you can install your windows 7 from your usb drive without using your cd or a dvd drive i hope this has been informative for you and i'd like to thank you for viewing please don't forget to subscribe my channel for the latest tips and tutorials on Windows, Android, Linux and Oracle. And if you really like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, your suggestions are welcome. And once again, thanks for watching.